Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tris and this is Comfy Cozy. Oh my goodness, I don't know the name of my own channel. Comfy Cozy Crochet with Tris. Um, and I am here today to share a huge yarn haul with you. Um, now for the past six or seven months now, I have been on a huge yarn ban. Um, crochet material shopping, we can call it, has been a huge thing for me um, the last three years or so since I've been crocheting and I can do some damage at the big box stores, let me tell you. Um, but for about seven months ago, I placed a huge order with Mary Maxim, got a bunch of really fun yarns and thought, okay, I'm done for a while. I, I can't do anything more for a while. COVID hit. Um, life happened. I had just had a baby and I'm like, okay, we we need to woe down for a while. We need to use some of the yarn that we have already. This is not all of it. Um, and we need to just, you know, work with what we have, save a little money, not do that. Well, Sorry, let me get comfortable here, excuse me. Um, it ended up that uh, I, I went a little hog wild, you know, sometimes you go on a diet and then you go off that diet and you just kind of can't stop and all of a sudden it's all the desserts and all the salty crunchy stuff and it's bad. Well, that's what happened with the humor. On top of that, I have some enabling friends that didn't make it any better. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you guys want to see what I got, just go ahead and keep watching and let's dig in. Uh, the first thing I did was I went to Joann's and I, I just happened to go in. I needed a little bit of retail shopping. I was in an area about 45 minutes north of my home or in the Seattle um, area and they have a huge Joann's. Um, our Joann's is okay here in my area, but it's not fantastic. Um, they don't have a, a great big selection of yarn, um, but the one up in the Tukwila area has a ginormous amount of yarn compared to what I'm used to. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll go in and just take a look. I'll see what, you know, what's what. And then I walked in and they had mandala or mandala cakes for $4.99 a piece. So that happened. <laughs> So let's just see what I got. Um, some of these are repeats that I already had like one or two of. Um, sometimes I get like a gift of one cake of yarn and I'm like, what am I gonna do with one cake? Um, I'm a huge blanket maker. And so I always think I need five or six cakes of anything I make. Um, but I'm trying to work into making more garments and things like that. So regardless, some of these things I'm just gonna need more of. So bear with me a little bit. Um, I don't have these in any sort of order. I probably should have prepared a little bit more, but you know, we're just going to wing it today. So I apologize in advance if that's going to frustrate you, some of you, and I'm sorry for the crinkling. Um, the first one I got is this lovely, um, hopefully it's going to pick it up. It's a yellow mauve, a little bit of, um, darker, dusty purple, some aqua, some kind of, um, I don't know apple green and then some yellow here again it's beautiful this one's called valkyrie i got several of these maybe four or five um and this is just your average um, mandala cake so it's a number three lightweight um recommends a an h hook um, number eight or five millimeter um it is 590 yards um, 5.3 ounces 540 meters um, for those of you who would prefer meters, 150 grams. Um, and it's it's just beautiful. So I got a few of those because I thought maybe, okay, you know, I can, can maybe make a really awesome blanket out of that. So I got a few of these. Excuse me. Um, I had one of these already, Jesse, the said enabler that was already mentioned earlier. Um, one of my best friends who does crochet right along with me. Um, she got me this one or this color, excuse me, for, uh, for Christmas. And I was like, I need one more. Um, I think I might make a scarf out of it or something, but it's so beautiful. It's got some salmons, whites, a deep teal, um, dusty purple, and then a lighter kind of lilac or lavender in the middle. This one is called Pegasus. It's got the same stats, so I'm not gonna bore you with everything I just read to you about the Valkyrie one. Um, but I love this coral right here. That's everything to me. I mean, I'm wearing kind of a coral shirt today. It's picking up a little, a little darker or brighter than it actually is. But anyway, so there's this one. I got one more of these so I can finish up kind of a project that I've got going with that. 
And then I could not resist. I had never seen this one before um, in person. And this one is Pixie. And this is just so pretty. And it's got, again, the dusty purple. We've got a little bit of actually orange, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but it works with this. Then you've got the, the aqua, the coral, the white, a real bright, vivid yellow, and some purple here in the center. And I thought this was gorgeous. So I got several of these, but there was a little bit of an oopsie. This one's not in the best shape here. Um, but um, I thought, there's another one. I thought that I got several of these because I thought, oh, that's going to make an awesome throw or baby blanket or what have you. And then when I got home, I realized <laughs> that a couple of these were not the same. And now I've, I'm not seeing the other one. But this one, I thought for sure it was the same one. It's not. This one is called Sprite. And when you actually put them side by side, they're very similar colors. Sorry. Um, but this one is a whole lot brighter, um, actually. So anyway, I did a little bit of an oopsie there, but I did end up with two of the Sprite. So that should be enough to make a scarf for a bit. Scarf, scarf and a hat set, scarf and headband, something. So it's all right. I'm not mad. I would have loved to have gotten five of each, though, because, you know, my husband says it's bad. He goes, you know, it was, but the whole diet thing, like, yeah, but you, like, you know, broke the seal essentially and bought some yarn and now you just can't stop. You're like going through withdrawals or something. I'm like, I know it's terrible. I'm sorry. I can't stop. Won't stop. So anyway, here's another of the Valkyrie. I got a couple of this one called Serpent, which I thought um, is really pretty. It's kind of more of a masculine. Um, it's got some grazed kind of charcoal pewter, um, some tan, yellow, white, um, and I thought that would be a really nice um, neutral baby blanket, maybe for a boy, it could also be for a girl, or it just could be a really lovely hat and scarf set. So I got a couple of those. I wish I had picked up more of these. I went to the store recently and they were back at $8.99 a cake, and I'm like, oh, I wish I would have gotten more, but I didn't. So there's that one. Um, I got one more of this sparkle mandala called Crooks. Now this does have, or Crux, um, this does have a little bit different stats. It's the sparkle. I don't know if that's picking up at all. I hope that it is. I'm a little bit too far away from my camera to really see that, so I apologize. But um, this has a little bit different stats. It's still a number three, lightweight. Um, still asks for an H or five millimeter hook, but it is 328 yards, 300 meters, and 3.5 ounces. And also, I am just realized made in Turkey. I didn't say that for the rest of these, so um, I think the rest of them are also made in Turkey, but I could be wrong. Yeah, made in Turkey for the others as well. So um, I picked up one more of these because I have one and a half cakes. I used this for a really pretty um, star blanket for a, a rainbow baby that was born um, this, this past summer, so I thought she needed this. So I did um, a star blanket and I did it in white and then stripes of this crux and so it was kind of a, a real girly rainbow. I thought it was beautiful. Um, but I have a little bit more and so I needed a little bit more to make something. Um, I also ended up with one of these by chance, I think on clearance one year. This is Sphinx of the regular mandalas, so again the 590 yards um, as the first ones that I showed you. And I just needed one more of those to, to make sure that I had enough of something. I got several of these, which is called Mermaid. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's got the, the aquas and the different shades and variations of blue. I'm showing you on this side. Like, you can see where I'm pointing. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm new to this. I am. Um, but we've got the white, the beautiful shades of aqua um, and going down into these beautiful indigos and ceruleans. And you've got some, some pretty shades of lavender, gray, and white. And I just thought these were gorgeous. So I think I have four or five of these. Um, one of them, again, I thought, oh yeah, this one is Spirit, so this is the other one. It looks almost identical, you guys, um, to the Mermaid, if you can see that difference. Um, so this one's just, I guess, a little bit lighter, but I mean, almost identical. And they're both mandalas. One's not a baby or any of that, so I don't know. Wow. 
Um, so I figured that I could use those inter interchangeably if I really needed to. I did notice they were different in the store. This one's also the Spirit. So I guess this one's maybe a little bit more aqua or teal. Um, it leans a little bit more towards those greens in there um, than the Mermaid does, which is, I guess, maybe a little bit more of a true blue. So anyway, we've got that there. Um, and then here's another of the Valkyrie. Here's the other one that's the Sprite, which look how vivid and beautiful those colors are. I just could not resist that. Um, pretty happy I picked that up, even though it was kind of a mistake. Um, and then one thing that I went there for that was real. Like I went there with every intention of finding the, uh, the Mandala Tweeds. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna forget her name. Something Thompson, Sarah Thompson, I think, from Rich Texture Crochets. She made the river shawl, river's shawl, um, using these mandala tweeds, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have them. They're so beautiful. They're not stocked at all in our Joann's. It's not just a matter of, like, they're not carried there. Um, so when I went to Tukwila and I knew they had a better selection, I'm like, please, please, please cross your fingers. Let's see if they have them and they did and they even had the colorways that I wanted so I couldn't believe it I wanted something really wearable something that I wasn't gonna feel like it was flashy I'm pretty modest I like to blend in I don't <laughs> want all this attention of bright rainbow to be worn on me it's fine for others and I love it when others do but I don't want all that attention <laughs> so I went ahead and I did um, I wanted the horseshoe and it's got beautiful tans different shades of blue and aqua a little bit of gray in there and I thought this would just be beautiful um, for one of her river shawls I actually made a river shawl and I'll show you that um, or maybe I would have already showed you that um, I'm not sure what order these videos are gonna go up um, but I made one of her shawls and it turned out gorgeous I can't wait to do it in the yarn that she actually meant for the pattern to be used with so we're gonna do this um, and then I found this one called dragonfly really similar but it's more of a dust dusty blues instead of the bright aquas and like ceruleans less vivid um, and it's got some uh, maybe like hunter green in here I don't know if you can see that um, and some tan um, so anyway so we've got those ones and then the rest of these are the cat's eye colorway um, oh and you know what I'm just realizing didn't give you any stats for this either oh boy bear with me you guys I'm so sorry if you've made it this far I commend you kudos I'm not sure I could have tolerated all the the ditziness going on in this video so thank you so much for sticking with me um this one here one for you one for me uh it's a little krista at the secret ironery if anybody's familiar um 426 yards 390 meters 5.3 ounces 150 grams 100 percent acrylic which i believe all the other ones were 100 percent acrylic as well but you guys can easily look like that up at joann's if you need to i'm so sorry to ask you to do that i will get better i promise you i will get better about this um these are also made in turkey these are however a four weight medium worsted weight yarn which is part of the reason i wanted them so badly is i'm addicted to these cakes but you know what all these cakes the cupcakes um Lion Brand Cupcakes I'm referring to, and the Mandalas, they're all three weights. And I'm okay with working with three weight on occasion. In fact, it's probably what I've been working with the most because of having my baby and things like that. Most of the baby weight seems to come in three weights. Um, but I got to the point where I'm like, dang, it's really nice to work with a well worsted weight yarn and have things just whip right up, you know? So um, I really wanted to try these tweeds because I love the way they looked when they're worked up, but also they're four weight. Yay, I'm super excited about that. Um, they call for an I-9 crochet hook or a 5.5 millimeter and um, a size 7 or 4.5 knitting needle. Um, and again, this one's called Cat's Eye. So we have a few of these. There we go. Yay. Um, and then the last thing I got on that Joann's order, or not order, uh, shopping trip was I got this beautiful big twist. I'm hoping that this is gonna catch the light and not completely blow out. Um, but it's got this gorgeous uh, metallic streamer running through it that's also red, uh, which I kind of love. Sometimes they do it in silver or um, gold, and that's pretty too. But when they actually put it in with the color that it is, I feel like it just doesn't clash as well, so or as, as badly. So anyway, this is the Big Twist Twinkle. 
Um, it's exclusive to Joann's. Big Twist is their um, actual in-house brand. It says 380 yards, six ounces, 347 meters, or 170 grams. Um, it says six skeins will make a blanket, three skeins will make a sweater, one skein to make a hat, or one skein to make a hat and um, scarf combo, excuse me. So um, it's also a four, medium four weight um, worsted yarn, calls for an H or a five millimeter hook, um, and an eight or five millimeter knitting needles. It says machine washable, low iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry clean, dry flat. They can't decide if it's dry clean or machine wash, but it does say machine washable. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, color on this one is red, and again, it's got the sparkles in there, made in Turkey. So I just thought that was lovely, and I have a few lovely ladies in my family, an extended framly, we like to call them, um, that are... Um, red obsessed. I am not, which is hilarious that you see two skeins of red right here over my left shoulder, um, because I am not a red fan. I love it on other people. I'll wear it on occasion, but I do not gravitate towards reds and oranges. I am strictly a pinks, corals, teals, aquas, yellows, whatever, but almost never red. <laughs> but it's Christmas time, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't resist the Christmas sparkly yarn and anything, Chris, all that glitters is gold in my mind. So, uh, in my world, if it's sparkly, it's better. So there is that. Um, and if you can believe it, that's not all. After that, about a week later, like I said, my husband's like, you can't get enough. What are we going to do with you? You have to stop now. I realized, but you already spent money. <laughs> my friend Jesse and I actually went together. Um, we had a little bit of a girls' night. We needed some mommy time without the children. Go out and just have some time. So we went to Michael's, which was, again, clear up north away from us because I wanted some Karen cakes. I have, believe it or not, been crocheting for three, three and a half years, and I have never, ever touched a Karen cake. Um, and they actually do supposedly stock them in my Michael's, but they never have any. <laughs> um, so just recently I hit the jackpot and they had like three different colorways when I went into my Michael's and finally I said, okay, the heck with it. We're going to go up north. We're going to have a girl's day. We're going to have lunch and we're going to actually have some, um, some Karen cake fun. So we went up and I went a little haywire. So let me show you what we got. I got, sorry. Oh, first I have been seeing this colorway. Red Heart Soft Essential Stripes. Um, I have been seeing this on Instagram and Pinterest, left and right, mostly Pinterest, I feel like, that people have made beautiful things out of this colorway. I don't know if you can see all that. You've got the lightest of pinks in here, like a shell pink, grays, some mauve gray purple, just beautiful stuff here. Um, and it's gorgeous. So I, I tried to even find this online nothing it's nowhere so I got two of those my camera's flashing just a second <sighs> all right you guys I'm sorry about that I might have to splice together some of these or this might have to be a part two of the video um, if it is I apologize because I didn't sign off in the last one I don't know where it even left off um, so I am just going to try to go a little bit more quickly through the, these. Um, we went to Michael's, my best friend Jesse and I, and we did some damage. Um, we were specifically looking for Karen cakes, which aren't really stocked in my neck of the woods. And so here is my first little thing here. This is not a Karen cake, I realize that it's not a Karen cake. Um, but I have seen these on Pinterest left and right. And, oh, I'm sorry, Red Heart Soft Essential Stripes. Um, and this is in the colorway Linen. It's got this lovely shell pink, some dusty gray purple, some pewter, some silver, some white or off-white in here. It's just beautiful. And I've seen so many people do things with these and they're just my cup of tea. So. Um, 
I have tried everywhere. I've looked online. I've Googled this. I can't seem to find these. Not on Amazon. Nowhere. Um, they're not stocked in Joann's at all. They're not stocked at joann's.com. Um, and when I went into Michael's, they didn't have them. Well, anyway, we hit the jackpot. So I got a couple of these. And then it was Karen cake time. So use the wrestling. I got two of this one called Sugar Plums. Oh, I apologize. So these Red Heart Soft Essential Stripes, this is in linen stripe. It is a number five bulky. It calls for a 6.5 millimeter or K hook. It is machine wash warm, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. And it is 100% acrylic, four ounces, 113 grams, 110 yards, 101 meters, made in Turkey. Okay. Um, so then these Karen cakes, we've got sugar plums, one for you, one for me. Sugar plums is the colorway. Um, and it's got these lovely dusty purples and some dusty blues in there. I thought it was just gorgeous. It's a four medium weight, um, five millimeter H hook, five millimeter knitting needles. It says hand wash, lay flat to dry. And that is because this is an 80% acrylic and 20% um, wool, 445 yards, um, 407 meters. And these are made in Turkey. So we've got two of the sugar plum colorway. We got two of the fairy colorway. And actually, I just wanna say, these are the lovely layers variety, these sugar plum ones. Um, I could not figure out what was the difference um, until I finally saw that um, these were $2 more for $9.99. Um, and I was like, why? Anyway, they're a new line of the lovely layers. Probably everybody but me knows that. Okay, so I super apologize if that's the case. These are the normal Karen cakes. This is in fairy, fairy cake, excuse me. Um, same stats as the other one, I believe, except it has less yardage, so it's still the 80-20 acrylic wool. Hand wash, lay flat to dry, but it's 383 yards, 7.1 ounces, 200 grams, 350 meters. And again, made in Turkey. So we've got that, um, that there. Here's the buttercream colorway. I got a couple of these. I'm not going to show you both, but it's got some really lovely neutrals in there, but it's also got some, you know, purple. There's a real light pistachio green, kind of a really muted terracotta in there. So I thought that would make something lovely and wearable. Um, and that one is called buttercream. That's the um, regular line again. So that's got the 383 um, I'm sorry guys, it's been a day, it's been a day. We are, we, this is multiple times shooting this. I'm so sorry, you're not gonna wanna watch this. I hope you do. I hope you stick around, because it will get better, I promise. Um, then I got a couple of this colorway, it's called Melon Ice, and it's got some lovely peaches and corals in there, along with some dusty blue, um, and I just thought that's right up my alley, I have to have it, I'm so excited. Um, so I just can't wait to work with you with this, you guys. And you know, most people would have tried out a yarn and then bought every color imaginable. Um, but me, I'm like, I think I'm gonna like it. So I'm just gonna buy all the colors and then if I don't like it, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm sure I will. Everybody raves about these Karen cakes. So this one is Strawberry Trifle. And again, this is not one of the lovely layers the melon ice was. This is just one of the regulars with 383 yards, and I thought that was beautiful. Again, matches my shirt. I must, I must like that color. Um, so I went ahead and got two of those. There's another of that linen stripe. And then I got a few of this. This is again that um, the lovely layers. Can see that I hope that's not completely washing out I'm sitting right by a window so I apologize um, this one is called dusted cream and look at those just I think everybody else is gonna say what a boring colorway and I just love it I think it's so beautiful um, it's got these beautiful um, dusty um, but not really pastel blues um, I think that's gonna make a lovely cardigan that's what that's what's gonna go on there I've got a pattern in mind for this so watch out for a video upcoming whip. Um, 
And then this one here is called White Truffle. And this is, so I'm sorry again, this Dusted Cream is one of the layer cakes. So it's got the 445 yards. Um, here's another of the White Truffle regular Karen cake. I again thought I love those neutrals. I don't know what that's gonna be yet. It hasn't spoken to me, but it's gonna be something gorgeous. All right. There's more, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't promise a short video. I should have, though, but that would have been a lie. I found some of the Karen Big Cakes. Again, I've never seen these before. I'm sorry. I've got a 13-month-old, and he's playing downstairs. Um, I'm in the loft area, so you can hear it. Apologies if that's annoying to everybody. Um, I've got these, these Karen Big Cakes. 603 yards. 551 meters, 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 100% acrylic, these ones are, so no wool in these, four weight, medium worsted weight yarn, five millimeter hook and crochet needle, both, machine washable and dryable. This one is called Cake Pop. And I was looking to see where this is made because a lot of people seem to care about that. Made in China, okay? So this is Cake Pop. I thought this was just lovely. It's right up my alley with these um, beautiful blues and aquas in there, but there's got the grays and whites in there too. So I thought that was beautiful. I got two of those. Got another of the melon ice because I knew I needed that. And everything was buy one, get one 50% off as far as yarn goes at Michael's. So that's why this went a little crazy uh, in case anybody's wondering. I am making some washcloths for gift sets for Christmas. Um, and so I got some cotton. This is the Lily Sugar and Cream. Both of these are. And this one is called Red, White, and Blue. Very apt. And this one is called Fruit Punch. So I thought this could be maybe some fun flower, scrubby, washcloth type things. I don't know, stars maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, some fun colors there. And then I could not believe it. So when we went to the store, the Premier Home Cotton, I've heard great things. I think Carrie Penny specifically talks about loving the Premier Home Cotton. Um, so I touched this one in the store and I thought, oh my gosh, you guys, that is so buttery soft. That is so nice for a, for like a kitchen cotton. Um, and I loved the color. I just love that marled kind of speckly look. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm gonna grab it and I grabbed one and I grabbed a second one and the other one was just like straw. I mean, it was so rough and just, I mean, honestly, more like this, which is fine for what it is, but I couldn't believe it was exactly the same. But one had this packaging here and the other one had probably older packaging, I'm guessing, but I don't actually know which is newer or older. They had all the same stats. Um, so this is 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and this was just, um, this is called Ocean Splash. Machine wash, tumble dry low, medium weight four, five knitting needle and 5.5 .5 millimeter crochet hook, um, made in Turkey. And I thought, okay, what's the deal? Every single one of them in the other packaging was rough. I mean, complete straw, it felt like raffia, not not what I was looking for. Um, so anyway, I made sure to get both of them in this. This one, this colorway is kind of a speckled black, I would say, and maybe silver. And it is called Granite Splash. That's also appropriate, I think. So anyway, I got both of these to do something with. And then here's another of the white truffle Karen cakes, which I had picked up at the other store. They had only had one at, just the regular Karen cake. So you've already seen that, I've already gone over that. And then I had never gotten a chance to even feel the Karen, um, the cotton cakes. So I went, they had specifically made sure they had them in stock before we went. I checked their app, which is a really nice tool. This one here is, nested blues and I've seen some beautiful things on Instagram and Pinterest in this colorway um, so I needed to try it out so this is 60% cotton 40% acrylic 8.8 .8 ounces 250 grams 530 yards or 485 meters worsted weight 4 medium yarn 4.5 millimeter knitting needles and 5 millimeter each crochet hook um, made in China so I thought these would make beautiful garments as well with those um, tans, taupes, 
off-whites and some real faded um, and pretty pastel blue. So we've got those. I don't know if you guys can see, I guess just below the camera, we've got a mountain O yarn. <laughs> um, and then this is another exactly the same, so I'm not gonna bore you with the stats, but this one is called Beach Glass. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have that in my life. So pretty. And again, I wouldn't have normally gone so crazy. Sorry, I've got itchy nose here. Um, so crazy with this, but they, I have to travel at least 45 minutes to get most of these. Um, so I just stocked up. And again, I was on a yarn diet and I binged. That's not really a healthy thing to do, but it's yarn, right? So that's okay. There are worse things to binge on. Um, then I picked up some more Lily Sugar and Cream. Oh yeah, this is another of the red, white, and blue. And this one is called Coral Seas Ombre. And again, if you were listening earlier, peaches, corals, teals, aquas, right up my alley. So um, anyway, thought I could make some pretty washcloths with those. And then I went ahead and found, I hear all the time the Charisma um, yarn from Michaels is awesome. Well, they have some at my local, um, local Michaels, but not very many. And like I said, I just don't go. Um, there was one time that I walked into this Michaels and I'm not kidding you guys. They had one end cap of yarn, one end cap of yarn in the entire store. So it's just not, it's just not a place that I can count on to get good yarn, which is why I'd never felt a Karen cake in my life until I went up north about 45 minutes. So anyway, they have some of these charismas, but I'd never seen the tweeds and I'd never seen this colorway. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Um, so it's got these tweed specks, specks in it here. Specks. I don't know what specks is. Splatters? Specks? Um, it is machine washable and dryable. The color is Sweet Dreams. Made in Turkey. Okay, it's a five bulky, eight millimeter or L hook crochet for crochet, um, nine millimeter knitting needles distributed by Michaels. This is their Loops and Threads Charisma brand. 109 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 meters, 100 grams. So I got two of this. Again, it's called Sweet Dreams. And I got two of this colorway. This is just Charisma, it's not a Charisma tweed. So it probably has different stats and I'll go ahead and read those to you. Um, five bulky, 100% acrylic, L hook, nine millimeter crochet needle. Made in Turkey, color is called Daisy. That makes me happy, that's my favorite flower. So it's called Daisy. I love, love, love Gerber Daisy. So 109 yards, 100 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. So same stats. Um, but anyway, these were so pretty with the, the blues and the corals and the peaches in there. I thought that was gorgeous. So got some of those. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. There is one more small bag from Joann's. I'm not going to go ahead and um, put that in this video, though, because I think I have kept you guys long enough, especially with trying to splice together two different videos and figure out <laughs> where that all left off. So I am going to leave that for a different video specifically because everything in that bag is for a particular whip that maybe I'll just talk about that whip in its own video. Or maybe I'll show it in my other video that's going to be talking about whips. I'm not making any sense. I'm rambling at you guys. Um, so if you made it to the end of this video, um, please leave me a comment down below. Tell me, hey, um, tell me what you're working on today. Tell me what, um, tell me you've lost control and bought this much yarn recently. <laughs> I would love to hear that I'm not alone. <laughs> Make the world a little smaller. Um, but anyway, I would just love to hear from you. I'm here on here just to make friends, to communicate more fully with the yarn community, the fiber community. I love to crochet. I love to talk about crochet. I want to hear what patterns are you guys working on? What are you doing? If you have a channel, um, drop the link down below. I would love to, if I haven't already found you, <laughs> um, I would love to watch your videos and just let's talk crochet. Let's get to know each other. Okay. So, um, you guys have a great day. Um, hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye guys.